Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here from Thessaloniki, Greece. And soon we're going to experience the Greek Cup semi-final first leg between Pauk and Panathinaikos. As you might know, the Greek fan scene is famous for its incredible passion and unbelievable pyro shows. For me, they're one of the best ultras in the world. And on Wednesday, they're going to be back after a two-month ban from the Greek government. And we're going to be with them to experience it live. They're always talking about Athens, but guys, check this out. The seaside of Thessaloniki. Stunning. Actually, a few years back, I went my first time to Greece. I was at the Pauk game, and it was also a semi-final against Panathinaikos. But I just remember, like, the atmosphere was so unbelievable. So much pyro, and the people were so welcoming to me. And for that reason alone, Pauk will always hold a special place in my heart. Later down the road, I also went to Panathinaikos. That was crazy as well. Also very nice people. But that's a story for a different video. I'm gonna show you another amazing location of Thessaloniki, but for that we have to walk all up the hill. See you in a second. And we're here. Guys, just check this out. I don't think I have to say much. It's just at this view here. Just no words. Absolutely incredible. And from here you can see the stadium. Just look here. No, I think that's that's the stadium of Heraklis. And over there, I think that's the park stadium that's tumba and this whole area up here is full of park graffiti just look at this park 4 obviously referring to gate 4 their ultra stand also here you can see another 4 I have to learn I don't know if the, I pronounce it right but for tomorrow, I, I will learn it. I went for a little lunch and found a traditional restaurant. And look at this, this looks amazing. A traditional Greek salad with feta cheese. Oh, I love that. Mm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Now the Kalimari arrived as well. <laughs> So good. Well, we're on the way to the stadium now, and I'm afraid that probably there won't be as much action as usual on the tribunes because you have to keep in mind it's the first game after the ban, and they have a very important game against Olympiakos on Sunday. So, uh I don't know, I don't think we're gonna see that much pyro as usual. I still hope there will be pyro, but uh, you never know. I, I, I'm sure there will be an absolutely amazing atmosphere as usual. I think the game will be practically sold out, I have to see. But uh, yeah, I just hope they, they don't comply with these rules. I mean, they shouldn't throw anything on the pitch, obviously, but I still hope they, they light a lot of flares and stuff. <laughs> Look what we can see from here, the famous Tumba Stadium of Park. Got a very old school vibe to it, that's what I like. And it's obviously home to that famous Furo show a few years back. Wow, honestly, the stadium looks so old school, I love it. And you can even see the sunset from behind there. We're inside and I have to tell you again, what an amazing old school stadium. The Park Ultra Stand already filling up. I'm telling you, this is going to be one hell of an atmosphere tonight. I didn't feel too well today to be honest, but being inside here just gave me a boost. It gave me that excitement and that it's like a cure. I'm so excited for the game now. Can't wait. I'm telling you, on the day, this stadium has the potential to be the best atmosphere in Europe and I stand by that. It will definitely be a very difficult game today for Park because Panathinaikos is strong. But I think with this home support, with this intimidating atmosphere, I think they can make it. But uh, anyway, even, even if they win today, they still have to play a replay in Athens. So nothing is decided today. And the Park players are coming out. Already. Now get ready for the pre-match ritual of Park. This will be amazing. Just enjoy this. Yes, 
Incredible this atmosphere, no words. Just incredible, no words. Just a few seconds and the players will come out. And the players are coming out! Singing very bad words against Pontus in Incredible atmosphere, but unfortunately, as I expected, no Piro today like usual. But anyway, ho let's hope for a good game and a power win. First attack of the wayside, but clear. It's again the wayside. Oh, this is very dangerous. Okay. Good clearance. He cannot bring the ball inside. I feel the wayside a bit more dangerous in the first few minutes. Park need to be very careful here. And yet again, dangerous cross, but nothing. Finally, Pauk on the attack. What will they do? Ah, he doesn't bring the cross in. Changes to the other side. Maybe now. Come on. He goes through. Now maybe the first chance. No, what a chance. Oh. He has to score this one. Park more in control of the game now, maybe. Maybe now, oh, another big chance. Oh, already some big chances for Park now. They need to score. This happens, fans. Just look at this. This is insane. Maybe now with the free kick. It's coming. Ah, but he. Uh, no. But they keep pushing. Hey! Another chance. Ball is coming good. Ah, but no, no. And the wayside with the counter attack. This is very dangerous now. Ooh, ah, but good clearance, good block. I don't know what it is, but Panathinaikos is playing really well. I didn't expect them to be that good today. Corners coming in. And short, but nothing. <laughs> Now Park has a chance again with a free kick. He brings the ball inside. Hopefully this time. Ah, better. Ah, but now what a chance! Oh, 
and yet again he doesn't score. They have to take these chances, otherwise they will get punished. It's, it's always like that in football. And it's half time, nil nil. Nil nil half time result. I would say a fair result. Both teams had a few good chances, especially Park, but they didn't take them. And uh, yeah, that's a bit my worry. Uh, I hope they take the chances in the second half because that's exactly the kind of games where you will concede if you don't take them. So yeah, um, hope for a good second half, an incredible atmosphere. And uh, I'm sorry if I don't talk as much as usual because I'm a bit, I don't know, I, I think I got the cold or something. I don't really have a lot of energy right now. But uh, anyway, I hope Park will score and get this place rocking. By the way, do you see this banner? I'm not going to say what it says, otherwise I get demonetized on YouTube, but <laughs> you can see it. And this man here, this uh, bulldog, that's the main sign of Aris Ultras. So yeah. <laughs> and the teams are coming out for the second half. Let's hope now for a better performance of Park. A more efficient one especially. <laughs> He said already putting pressure on. Be oh, careful. Very dangerous. Corner for the wayside. Short corner. Ah, uh, but good. Spark and clear. Maybe now. Oh, what a chance this would have been with. Was it a hand play from, from the Panathinaikos player? And it's a yellow card for Panathinaikos. In my opinion, if this was a hand play, it's very lucky to get away with a yellow card. But Panathinaikos have been better in the start phase of the second half as well. And they're dangerous. Oh, oh. Ah, 1 0. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Very disappointing. Hey, what is he doing? They want to provocate the empty stadium against Olympiakos. Disgusting from the Panathinaikos players. Not nice from the Panathinaikos player. They obviously want to provoke the Park fans to throw things, so in the next game they can't bring any fans to the game. But it happened again, exactly what I said. They don't score their chances and the wayside scores. It's always like that. And yet again, Panathinaikos on the attack. They got confidence now. Good save by the keeper. Yet the game Panathinaikos very dangerous and spot a save from the keeper now. Keeping Park in the game. They really need to open the game now, otherwise this could get a really sad night for Park. Corner. Come on! And a goal! Cross is coming in. Ah, but not dangerous at all. Maybe now in a counter attack for Pauk. No. Oh, but he doesn't reach the ball. But the ball's still in play. Come on now. Ah, it's too slow. You can slowly feel the frustrations from the sand. It looks very bleak at the moment for Pauk. And now it's kicking off on the field. What the hell is happening? A Panathinaikos player seems to be on the floor. Wow. The fans are very angry, as you can see. Very bad words. I think they're singing about the models of Panathinaikos players. What will the referee decide? That's it. And it's a red card for both players from Pauk and Panathinaikos. So it's 10 against 10 for the last few minutes. <laughs> and again, listen to this. And now maybe this has to be the last attack. Ah, 
Ah, but they just don't bring the ball into the box. That's a problem. It's not meant to be today. And the game is over. Well, this is it. One nil full time for Panathinaikos. Very disappointing night for Park. Um, it just wasn't meant to be tonight. I don't know, but they couldn't take their chances. They didn't create too many chances either. And uh, you know, that's the result of it. But it's not over yet. They still have the opportunity in the replay in Athens at the Leoforo Stadium. If they perform there, they can still go through. So not all hope is lost tonight, but uh, still quite a disappointing night. Uh, I mean, the atmosphere dropped a bit off in the latter stages of the game, obviously, because the fans were very frustrated. Yeah, but also quite disappointing, to be honest, for me that there was no pyro. Usually this whole stadium just burns full of pyro, but as I said at the start, this with this whole uh, ban and restriction situation at the moment, one fan told me they, they are very careful today, so because they don't want to have any problems for the next game in, against Olympiakos. Well, I'm back at the hotel now and I just wanted to add quickly that I had an amazing time here in this beautiful city of Thessaloniki and I cannot wait to come back here and go to another park game and experience even a better atmosphere. Next time it will be a win, I'm sure. Next time it will be lots of puro. I cannot wait. If you did enjoy this vlog, please subscribe and uh, see you.